Saudi Cup to a quick recap of one championships Masters of Destiny card that happened um, last week. As you can see, I'm stuck in a hotel room here uh, in Berlin, in Germany, actually, um, back in uh, kind of a holiday back home. Um, but I want to give a quick recap of what happened at um, the one Master of Destiny's card. Um, for those who check out the previous videos, you might wonder where is your awesome Mai Tai or t shirt, or where are those awesome one championship t shirts that you're usually wearing or like being trapped behind you or something? Um, KLM lost my luggage. All of it. So, I mean, all of it, like one bag of luggage that I I uh, took back from Bangkok via Amsterdam to Berlin and somehow my luggage didn't make it. I do wonder how that happened because it's like one transition flight. It's Bangkok, Amsterdam, then you've got an hour and then Amsterdam to Berlin. Uh, if I can make it, why can my luggage not can, can my luggage make it? Um, and it's not, I mean, this flight happens like every day, so it's not that I'm not used to it. Weird. Um, so I had to go out and actually buy some random, randomish things that don't look completely bad, hopefully, uh, and that I can use hopefully later on, maybe once in a while. Um, not feeling that super comfortable here, but um, better than nothing. So uh, <laughs> actually, like when I look around, uh, the setting is actually even more child Sonnen like. Like in the last video, I said maybe I go to the child Sonnen road a bit more, and now actually sitting in a hotel room. Um, complaining about stuff is actually quite child sonnen like um, fortu Unfortunately, I'm not undefeated. Uh, other than that, maybe on a, on, a, on a good way by now. All right, but let's break down uh, the one championship card, Master of Destinies, um, before I hate more on KLM. Don't fly KLM. Um, all right, so Master of Destiny, right? Um, I'm just looking over here so that I don't forget what I wanted to say. Um, what would the first part that I found very interesting, and if you saw the pre prediction video, um, I talked about this before, was George Mann versus Socro, Patch in the Academy. Uh, George Mann, a really, really tall guy. And it, um, I predicted uh, the win for Socro, and he won. Ha! <laughs> told you. But why a split decision? So it was a really tight fight. And like I said before, George Mann always finds a way to kind of like keep keep the distance to, to, to the others, to his opponents, and to Get in like then like some distant shots and to not get hit that much. Um, Sokro moving forward, trying trying everything, um, like that you have to do to take a big man down. So that was obviously um, good, and I mean then he got this split decision win. You could argue here a little bit about it, um, but overall I think yeah you can't be too mad about it. Um, ridiculous, the most ridiculous fight on in terms of like who won was between and let me check so I don't uh, I don't but butcher the name. Osenia Antonia versus Being Guin. And if you follow if you follow uh, B at Killer B MMA, I believe on Instagram, uh, you might have even seen that the highlights or if you've seen if you've seen the matches, the fights live on the app. That was ridiculous. I mean, she lit up Bosenia um, with uh, some heavy, heavy shots. And in the end, when the referee was standing there, um, <laughs> And he's supposed supposed to raise the, the hand of the winner. He he rose the hand of Bing Guin uh, <laughs> instead of Bosenia Antonia. And Bosenia Antonia was like, "Hey, uh, they just the, the judge has said that I won." And he's like, oh, 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 "Oh yeah, right." So even the referee was surprised with the outcome. That was ridiculous. I don't know what happened there. Um, this fight deserves a rematch way more than like the main event main match that we that we come to in a second. So. That one championship that was ridiculous. What did you? What, what, ah, I don't get it. It was ridiculous. Those judges. What the? Ah, shame. Seriously, ridiculous. Ridiculous. Um, next out then that I that I actually previewed was between Kai Ting Chuang and Janet Todd. And Janet Todd won. Congratulations for for Janet won. Uh, Janet Todd for the win. Majority decision win. Um, in my prediction, I said I think that uh, Kai Ting Chuang might uh, have the um, the uh, yeah, advantage here because she's like using really much or really a lot of forward pressure. Um, always like moving forward. But Chen Tot fought quite well um, as always, and I think I also said in the prediction video, I would not be surprised if Chen Tot would pull it off. So congratulations! I'm glad that Chen Tot won because um, she's she's fun to watch. She 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 doesn't have 
or she doesn't she never shows any fear or backs or never back, backs down. So it was really nice to see her win and I hope I hope she can get a few more really good fights here um after this this decision victory. Um well then <laughs> Uh, the, the other fight that I did, I pre was uh, was Efting Et versus Daichi Abe, and I think I predicted Efting to actually win, and so he did. Uh, submission victory, round two, second round. Um, yeah, so Daichi Abe was lighting him up quite, 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 quite well in the first round, I believe. Um, Efting then fired back, came back, had a chance to take the back, and then um, choked him out with a, a rear naked choke, or made him tap with a wire rear naked choke. Um, well, good on F Ting for not going out before and for, for coming back and being all fired up. So, yeah, good comeback there. Um, let's see where, where, where he goes from here. And then, uh, now I have to I have to apologize um, for the next fight that I predicted, Angel Lee versus Michel Nicolini. I'm sorry, because um, I, I somehow I somehow thought it, and it was like Angel Lee fighting an atom weight where she's a champion. Because um, I've, I've, in my head it was like, okay, she lost the last fight in straw weight, the championship fight. So why would she do another strawweight fight right away? I thought she would defend her atomweight title, but uh, apparently she didn't. So she, there was a straw a, a strawweight fight. So I, I got it mixed up. Uh, my bad there. I simply did not did not understand or didn't really even consider that this was hap would, would would be happening. So it was a strawweight fight between Angel Lee and Michelle Nicolini, and well, shame on me for not knowing Michelle Nicolini um, because she won the uh, unanimous decision. She. Did everything better than Angela Lee, so there's she 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 outfought her, and you can't complain. That was that was synonymous. Um, was a clear decision. Um, even though Angela Lee's husband complained on, on on Instagram on the one championship post, he posted something like uh, "unanimous." Are you kidding me or something like this? But uh, it was a definite victory by Misha Nicolini. So good on her for doing this. Angela Lee maybe should just stay in atom weight for for now. Um, maybe get back on track first before trying even more in straw weight. Also, why don't you defend your title? Um, so I hope next fight that, that we will see Angelina will be an atom weight where she defends her title because it's, it's about time again. Um, <laughs> the main event, Georgie Petrosian versus Patchmore called Patch in the Academy. Um, the rematch of the, the controversial fight that, that, that Patchmore won the last time, like a few weeks ago. Um, this time, unanimous decision win for Georgie Petrosian, just like we all expected it to, to go down in the rematch because the referee, the judge that they own, patch where everyone was like, uh, probably schooled to like, don't do this, don't do that. Um, as soon as he goes for, for a clinch, as soon as he, I don't know, fakes a knee or something, intervene, I don't know. Georgi Petrosian then outboxed him more, more or less. Um, I mean, still patch more wasn't outclassed, I think. He, 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 he still had lots in, but yeah, you had to give this to, to Georgi Petrosian. That the rematch happened was was just a joke. Um, that's just ridiculous, um, and I'm still not happy with this. So uh, one championship, you're doing a good job there overall, but you gotta fix a few things there. Um, overall, the card was funnish, I think. Even like those the fights that I didn't predict or uh, didn't analyze before. Um, some of the lesser known fighters, I put on some really good shows, like lots of knockouts, um, stoppages. So that was fun. Um, but those main issues they, they simply take away from this. So. The, fight, the fact that Georgia Petrosian versus um, Patchmore could happen just because Georgia Petrosian lost in the first fight and the biggest European star uh, who's probably like going to be the face of one championship in uh, Europe uh, just can't get out of the tournament right, right, right away and has to stay in there um, was just crazy. And then, well, the killer be lost. I mean, that was just, that was stupid. and. Uh, it's just sad to see this like in 2019 where it's everything is in one championship where it's like everything, everything is supposed to be super professional and um doing everything the right way uh so this 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 really irked me a little bit um other than that interesting card i'm looking forward to to the next one i'm a bit more excited about i, I think than, than this one uh, simply because the main event will be less controversial um i'll break it down soon uh, other than that, I, let me know what you thought about the fights, uh, the one championship Masters of Destiny fight cut from, from Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur. Um, and, well, don't fly, don't fly KLM. See you next time. Bye, guys.